What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 here on Aviator Games. You guys, last time we left off, Victoria tricks Zeph into getting her pregnant. And now she's sleeping it off as she gains about 25 pounds a day. That's the standard when you're pregnant, Victoria. Yeah, no one told you that? Well, you shouldn't have surprised Zeph with a pregnancy. But you guys, before we get into this episode of The Sims 4, please take the two seconds out of your day to help make my day by slapping that like button, Lemon Heads. Let's go for 2,200 likes on this episode of The Sims 4. But now, you guys, let's get started. So there's a couple things I want to do in today's episode. Number one is I want to prepare the room uh, just a little bit for the baby, because the baby should be here by next episode. And number two, uh, Alana's room's got to change, because it does look very girly, and a lot of you guys are getting mad at me, and you hate the gothic thing, and I understand. So we're going to try to we're gonna try to try change it up. Now, if you guys forgot, I have the hiccups, but... <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I am gone at home in Wisconsin visiting my family and friends for Christmas, so I will be back in about two more episodes. Episode 104, I'd say. So, um, if you guys are like, why aren't you listening to our suggestions? What are you doing? Change a lot of clothes! Which I'm sure that's been suggested a few times already. Uh, it's because I'm not home, so I can't. All these episodes are pre-recorded, so yeah, spread the word if there's anybody in the comments that are a little bit confused. But okay, so, the first thing we're gonna start the day off with is changing Alana's bedroom, of course. It is not a girl bedroom at all. Uh, it actually could be a girl bedroom, it's just, it's not her style. So we're gonna change it. Um, I do like the the paint or the wallpaper, or whatever it is. Uh, like I like this kind of wallpaper. I think hers is this one. You know, that's not half bad wallpaper either. Now I don't think it comes in pink, and that's the problem. I wish it did come in pink, but hey, she's kind of a, a romantic girl, so you think red. When I think romance, I think red because roses and and all that kind of stuff. Um, red because blood twilight twilight's life okay uh what else do we want we do want red carpet maybe too no maybe we want like a cream carpet Ooh, creamy uh now the furniture though the furniture we're gonna change this up a bit so we are going to make colors of things really quick kind of change these up a little bit we're gonna go with the red lamps and everything everything's getting a bit of a red decor twist to it now this this bed's gonna go because it doesn't have the red style we want uh, but we're see we're making everything more red I think that's the goal in life to be very red um, so let's go to beds now we want the best of the best not the $12,000 bed she's not a princess um, but this bed's pretty good and it does come in red and black so very sexy very sleek very divine uh, <laughs> then we'll probably put a throw rug just to give some color to the rug now, when I think throw rugs, I think, wow, that's beautiful. So let's get a nice rug in here. Ooh, does this one come in red? I'd have to say it does. I'd have to say this is red. Ooh, wow. Is there a different color red rug, actually? A different style. Does this come in red? Oh, this does come in red. Oh, they read my... That's too red. Okay, they read my mind. Get it? Ah! <laughs> okay, that whoa, that's huge. That's massive. Okay, we don't want that. Um, what about this one? That one's giant as well. Is there one that's smaller? Okay, this is smaller. Does it come in red? No, it doesn't. Does this one come in red? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so I like that rug, I guess. It's I just wanted to see if there was any other ones. Um, but since there isn't, this rug will do. We're actually gonna pull it out one more. Um, what else could spice this room up a bit? Let's get the little color changer here. Uh, we'll make that box red. We'll make the, the these little thingies more of a uh, lighter color because that's got red in it. And then that can be red. It's a very red bedroom. Um, it sounds like a movie. A very red bedroom starring people. Uh, okay, so there we go. Very red bedroom. It's done. Um, we're going to keep that there. What else should this room have? It doesn't have a lot of wall space. Uh, let's blow up these walls a little bit. Now this painting, eh, it doesn't go with what she's going for here. Um, nah, no, this painting is not going to suit her room. So what we're going to do is grab a different painting that we can slap up on that wall. There, this one's very red. <laughs> now she doesn't have to have everything be red. Uh, see, like this silver would probably look nice in her room. And she is a romantic sim, so maybe looking at this cityscape makes her happy. And she wants to be wealthy, and it looks like a very wealthy house there. Uh, so that's a good one for her room. Now for the baby's room, we don't know what the baby's going to be actually, so I don't think we're going to change her room at all. But uh, now she, she, there we go. She supports um, red 
and read a like, read a like. So there we go. All done with her room. Her room finally feels a little more romantic and kind of the way I envision Alana's room to look. Uh, now we just need Alana to really put on, I think, thick like lipstick and really make her that Bella Goth look. Um, but I really, I really think this room turned out. I think it's it's the perfect shade of red. <laughs> it's the perfect shade of red that she would want. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, if you guys hate it, tell me down below if you think there's anything that should be changed. Tell me. And uh, in a few episodes, I'll change it. Um, but I'll see you guys today. We are going to have a bit of a family reunion since uh, Victoria is expecting. We are going to be inviting some of the family over to, uh, oh my god, to um, just see Victoria and rub her belly and and guess what kind of baby it is. But you guys, also, I want some of, some of your opinions on what the baby's name should be. We don't know if it's boy or girl yet, so leave some boy and girl names down below in the comments, and I'll be taking some of those names into consideration consideration because I don't think the baby will be born until I get home anyways so I will be able to take those names into consideration so please leave those down below and now it is time to get ready for this I, I guess I, w I wouldn't call it a party but it's it's a get together a family get together we're gonna invite John we're gonna invite Julia we're gonna invite Carmen Marshall all those guys can come on over and, and see the new house and and see the baby bump <laughs> and see how Alana has really started working out a ton and is getting super slender. Um, but let's see. Okay, so she's dressed. What we're going to have her do is invite to hang out at current lot. She's going to invite Marshall. She's going to invite John. She's going to invite Julia. <gasps> Where's Carmen? Where's Car Where's Car? Okay, well, she'll invite Zeph. Where is Carmen? Where is Carmen? She should be there. She could be here already? She was wandering like lost the other day, so it wouldn't surprise me if she was wandering somewhere in the neighborhood because she doesn't have a job. She couldn't have died, though, either, unless like she caught on fire or something. Otherwise, she was pretty young. She's still an adult, so I, there's no way she was naturally dead. <laughs> there's no way she's naturally dead. Uh, let's clean up the refrigerator, though, and I think she should eat some salad before it's... It's too late because she's pretty starving right now. Oh my god, John's here. Old man John. <laughs> Family reunion, you guys. You gotta love him. You got Well, look at John. You don't have to love him. But you gotta. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have her eat as quickly as she can. It looks like some people are over. We should probably just put off the eating. Um, okay, so Julia's here. Everyone is. Let's um. Let's see. Let's Let's share the big news. We should probably share the big news with everyone here so they all know. And then we can share the big news with Zeph and get his reaction. <laughs> hey, guess what, Zeph? Yeah, that time you came over yesterday? Yeah, I'm pregnant. And look at how far along I am. Boom. One day. I'm, <laughs> I'm nine months along. And she's sharing the, the news with everyone here. And it looks like Julia's exci excited. Now we're going to share the news with Marshall. Unless he already got the news shared with him. He seemed to be excited. We're going to share the big news. Exit the conversation. Now share the news with uh, John. And John now is excited. And we're going to share the news with... No, 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 no. We're going to... I want to share the news with your dad as well. Did Marshall... Maybe Marshall heard the news? Did... I guess she told it to two people right in front of him. Maybe he heard... <laughs> maybe he overheard it. Oh, you're pregnant. Very good. Uh, who's the daddy? Oh, he's here, Dad, just to let you know he's in the kitchen. He doesn't know he's the father yet. Uh, okay, so I guess he must know already. We're going to have Victoria grab something to eat, too, really quick, because I don't want her to go too hungry. She is pregnant. Uh, let's have Alana come down and visit with her mom. Oh, she is already down. Let's give her a hip bump. As you can see, Alana and Julia both had a little bit of fat beginnings, like a kind of overweight beginnings, and now they are really, 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 really in shape, like... She's oh, anorexic, and she's on her way. We don't want her to get anorexic, so I think we're going to take her workouts really light from now on. But as you can see, they both became fitness nuts, and they're in love with fitness. So I'm almost thinking of uh, flip-flopping the roles here, having Victoria go into business and Alana become an athlete because Alana is starting to really like fitness, and Victoria's got that business savvy about her. So I don't know. We're going to kind of have to see. It looks like Victoria is talking to Zeph right now. She's going to share the big news with Zeph. Let him know that she is pregnant and he's the father. So he should be aware of that. <laughs> okay, go downstairs and eat. Victoria, you're starving. You don't want to starve yourself, especially when you're expecting. You got to keep the food for the baby and yourself. 
Does she eat already? Oh no, she's still eating. She got really big, really fast. That's crazy. Okay, so after she's done eating, we're gonna have her resume her large reality painting or realism painting. Let's turn this, uh, change the station. We want to listen to pop. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Let's all dance, guys. Let's dance together. Who's going to dance with Alana? Anyone? This is a family reunion. Let's break out and dance. No? Okay. Let's just dance by ourselves then, Alana, because no one wants to dance with you. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Break it down. Stuff and things. Oh, she's really letting the music just take her away to a magical place. Look at that. I love it. Okay, Victoria, are you going to go finish your realism painting now? I can't believe she might have twins, you guys, because she is pretty big. Uh, I've never seen a sim of mine get that big so fast. It's probably about to hit 24 hours since she got impregnated, and she is the size of a bus already, and I'm pretty sure they're pregnant for three days, so I'm kind of curious to see how big she'll get. Maybe she'll be pregnant in like four days and just pop. Holy crap, because she is she grew so fast. Uh, so big so quickly, too, which is surprising. But Alana, let's get this party started. Let's swim here together. Come on, guys. Everyone into the pool. Alana is the party starter. You guys, Alana's the party starter here. Look at where she's going. Okay, the party's about to start. They're going to all hop in the pool. And boom, as you can see, you guys, Alana's body has come a really long way. She is super skinny now, and she's in the pool with her mom, enjoying a good swim. And it looks like Marshall is coming maybe to say hello to Victoria and see what she's up to? Or is he le Oh, Marshall's leaving. And so is John, and so is Zeph. Well, they're all getting out of here. Maybe Julia will leave, too. She is enjoying a little dip. Wow, Julia looks pretty good. She's about to be a grandma, too. That's what's crazy. Uh, she's about to become an old lady. Uh, she looks pretty good. And it looks like Al Alana's still enjoying the sim. John, you kind of swim. Uh, John kind of let himself go. It kind of did. He looks like a pirate. Uh, it's kind of not uh, the right fashion sense for you, John. Uh, let's sell this to a collector. Make some money for our baby's bedroom. There we go. 200 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, what does Victoria need? We're trying to keep her happy because she is in that stage of, hey, she's pregnant. Better keep her happy. We'll have her play some Sims, then use this toilet. Now, let's see. What do we want Alana to do? We're going to have her continue to work out and push herself to the limits because I think we are going to make her the athletic Sim and we are going to have Carmen be that business savvy sim that spends a lot of time on the computer, a lot of time being a mom, and just tries to rise the ranks of her career for her future child because she wants her future child to have a very great childhood, very memorable childhood. So she just wants to make a lot of money and get them in a better house. Uh, let's turn this off now that the party's over. Okay. So, Alana, did you give up working out? Endurance run. Alana, wait, where are you? Where are you? Is there another computer somewhere else that I don't know about? Oh, there is. There's one right there. I didn't even know that. Okay. Well, we're going to have Alana do a big workout right now, though. She is kind of worn out from her earlier workout. But, hey, if she wants to be a professional athlete, this is something she's going to have to do. And we'll call it quits for playing video games for now. Head back downstairs. What else do we want to do? Maybe eat another salad. The salads aren't very filling, but they're full of nutrition that will help the baby grow and grow and be healthy uh, when it's born and not all pudgy. <laughs> oh, where are you going? You're going to talk to Alana as she's working her butt off. You're going to eat a salad in front of her? She's going to get hungry. Victor oh, God. See, Victoria distracted her, and now she fell off the treadmill. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, Alana, are you done? Are you done right now? Is this your I'm done face? Okay, so what we're going to have Alana do is, I guess, go to the bathroom. She's got to take a nice long shower to recoup from that. Then we're going to have her head downstairs and eat herself a salad, too, because that looked pretty good. She is enjoying what Victoria was putting down. So let's have her go put one down herself. Now, what should Victoria do? It is only 5 o'clock. She could get a little bit of a workout in. We could have her do an endurance run since she hasn't worked out in quite a while, a few days before being pregnant, I'd say. So it's been a while. So what's to say she can't stay in shape? As she's pregnant. So that's what we're going to have her do. She's now a level 6 in fitness. I think Alana was a level 5. Yeah, she's a 5. She just turned a 5. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that. I'm guessing the business career is going to take charisma, which I think she's got a decent level. Yeah, almost a 4. And I'm betting it's also going to take a few friends. Maybe logic, too. I don't know. We're going to have to see. I'm really excited about these new careers. They're probably out as you guys are watching this video yet. But I'm not going to get to test them out until I get home in a, in a few days. So... I'm really excited about testing those new careers out. Uh, let's push yourself to the limits with another endurance run. Let's check in on Alana. 
she's painting. She's kind of ending the day by the pool side, just painting a little bit of abstract art, it looks like. Looks like she's having a pretty good time, though. That's good for her. But, you guys, I think this is a really good place to end this episode. They had a little bit of a family reunion. The baby's on its way. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I wonder what it's going to be, a boy or a girl. But, you guys, if you enjoyed the episode, remember to slap that like button. And if you guys watch the whole thing, comment down below, big family. Because we've had a lot of people come in and out of the series, a lot of people in the family. Uh, but I, I think it's worth remembering with this family reunion. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.